state you will have steel and you have concrete and both added together becomes RCC and then becomes C. But the identity of A and identity of B remains independent. They can be seen separate behavior of both and the C is just a combination, a simple arithmetic combination of A plus B equal to C. So it is a heterogeneous composite. Now, why porous cement is great is it is a homogeneous composite. And what do you mean by homogeneous composite is there is A, that is the chicken mesh and the bed mesh and the wire mesh and the small diameter parts. And you have the mortar, that is the B part. But when A and B come together, the C that is formed is not an addition of A plus B equal to C. But C has its own identity, characteristics and its own ability. And A and B are complementary and they form a completely different entity called C. Now this is a homogeneous composite. Why this composite is good for India? For all developing countries, it is the simplest and the cheapest form of a homogeneous composite. And such homogeneous composites are very expensive because they are polymer based, carbon fiber based glass fiber based in all foreign countries. Here we have got the cheapest homogeneous composite. Now what is the further advantage? I am telling you second technical advantage. You all are working in concrete, the third year and fourth year students and the teachers also. They know very well that the strength of concrete is extremely good in compression, and very poor in tension. Now what do you mean by good in compression and bad in tension? For example, you have M30 grade concrete. What do you mean by M30? M30 is the compressive strength of 30 Newtons per millimeter square or 30 MPa at 20 days if it is tested in the laboratory and the cues are made by the particular method as prescribed in the IS code. So at 28 days you will get 30 MPa or 30 Newtons per millimeter square. Now what is the tensile strength of concrete? We have formulas to calculate, we have procedures to calculate by the thumb rule is whatever is the compressive strength one tenth of that is the tensile strength. So for 30, if you divide it by 10, it is 3, 3 mp, that is 30 kg per centimeter square. Now if I want to do something in ferro cement, if I do a M30 model and use chicken mesh and weld mesh and make a composite, then the composite strength compressive will be 30 mp. But the tensile strength Direct tensile strength, if I use the right word, will not be 3 MPa as in case of concrete, but it will go to almost 12 to 15 MPa. Now, this is a game changer in the entire world. Because instead, when the tension is very poor in concrete, we go on adding steel bars and make it singly reinforced, make it doubly reinforced, make it deep beam, make it beam, do all sorts of things to ensure that the tension is somehow handled for the structure. Here, we have a system where almost 40 to 50 percent of the strength in tension is taken by the composite itself and you don't have to do anything else. So first part is the composite part, second part is the tension and the third most part is combo. I do not know why most of these structures in the domes or the funicular domes or the cones or the pyramids or the hyperbolic parabolics which most architects love very much, the civil engineers can't understand that much. That's a thing. That's what we can say. But all these structures, if you try to build in RCC, it is next to impossible. For the simple reason that the cost of the shuttering and centering such shapes and forms will come to almost 70 to 80 percent of the main cost of the project. Because they are not replicated. If you replicate this thing, it want to be 10 tombs, then the cost might come down. So you have a unique arrangement in ferro cement where you have steel bars of 6 mm or 8 mm maximum and chicken meshes and red meshes and you have a fabricator who fabricates the entire thing in that particular shape that you want. So the formwork is lost formwork, it's called lost formwork. You don't get it back but it goes into the ferro cement structure. So with the formwork cost coming down and that is that work is also done by a fabricator who is not a super expert. We get a fabricator of the level of food or grill work or small grills or very small lower level works in the society. So this is also not a super skilled contractor very 
everything and you can also do a lot of social work with your husband. So, most important on the Valentine's Day, if you ask me, what is the difference between RCC and Rosemary? RCC is like arranged marriage. A plus B is equal to C. C is a good thing. But A is independent and B is independent and C is independent. Ferrocement on a Valentine's Day, if you ask me the definition, A and B merge together and you are not able to differentiate between A and B and they come out with the product C which has much better qualities than A and B. So this is the composite, the homogeneous composite that I have called the Valentine composite, not tomorrow problem. Thank you. 